Welcome back to the Ulduar Raid Guide. My name's Siderhelm, I'm the administrator of Tankspot.com, and in this video I'll show you our Ignis strategy. If you'd like more information or would like to learn more about downloading this movie, click More Info on the Movie Information box on YouTube to head directly to Tankspot. Ignis requires less raid movement than most encounters in Ulduar. However, he has a series of unique abilities that have to be coordinated through the length of the encounter in order to successfully bring him down. The first ability I'll cover is called Slag Pot. Ignis will grab one of your raid members and throw them into the pot sitting on his belly. This causes high damage to the player and it must be healed through. It's important to note that the player inside the Slag Pot is capable of healing themselves as well. Also, because of the random targeting of the Slag Pot, players handling other parts of the encounter such as Iron Construct should have backups to handle their roles in an emergency. The second ability I'll cover is called Flame Jets. This is an ability that Ignis casts which launches players into the air. Additionally, any player who is casting a spell when Flame Jets finishes casting is temporarily locked out of that school of magic. It is absolutely critical that casters, especially healers, are not locked out by this, so they should be paying special attention to Flame Jet casts from Ignis. The third ability I'll cover is called Scorch. This is a frontal AoE ability that will leave the stones in front of him burning. It is important that the raid avoid standing in front of Ignis for this reason, and it is important that the tank move out of this as much as possible. In this movie, you will notice that I'm moving Ignis in a four-point path when dealing with Scorch. We chose this path in part because it is an easy to remember path that our DPS and healers can stay between, and because if Ignis runs to a player to put them in the slag pot, he will come back to the appropriate corner immediately afterwards. This path also allowed reliable use of the Scorch Flame Patches for players handling Iron Constructs. The Iron Constructs are immobile and untargetable enemies you will see along the left and right side when you enter the room. When Ignis is engaged, he will begin bringing these to life. While alive, Iron Constructs will provide Ignis with a stacking damage buff. If too many Iron Constructs are alive, the tank handling Ignis will no longer be able to be reliably healed. For this reason, the Iron Constructs must be dealt with immediately. When an Iron Construct spawns, a player should pick it up and move it over to the Scorch Flame Patches. Here, they will slowly become molten. Since the flames deal considerable damage to anyone inside them, it is best that they are rooted in place by a druid once they've been positioned, so the player picking them up can leave. Once an Iron Construct becomes molten, it drops aggro. The player, ideally the druid that was rooting them, should break them free and use the aggro to drag them into the nearby pools of water. Molten constructs that reach the water become brittle. Once brittle, they are immobile and take additional damage. They require only a single high damage attack to be destroyed. To guarantee damage is sufficient, we had a mage assigned to taking care of the brittle constructs. After the construct has been destroyed, Ignis loses one stack of his damage buff. In this kill, we had a single Feral Druid handling the first Iron Construct to spawn, and a Moonkin and Protection Warrior handling the second Iron Construct to spawn. They alternated every other Construct from then on. Killing Ignis is entirely a matter of control and endurance. Once players learn the encounter, this should be one of the most reliable encounters to clear each week in Alduar. Thanks for watching this movie. As always, feel free to ask questions or add suggestions either on YouTube or in the strategy thread on tankspot.com. Also, Tankspot donors can download all of these movies in high definition directly from our servers. Click the second link in the movie information box to learn more.